Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on. Oh! Before we find the car of our budget dreams, a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, Omaze, who are giving you the chance to win a fully restored 1974 BMW 2002 Turbo and $20,000. Taxes and shipping are included, and every donation supports a great cause. All you have to do is go to omaze.com forward slash BMW and enter for your chance to win. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to do something that you guys have been asking for for ages. We're going to buy a 150 mile an hour car for £1,000. Can it be done? Easy. Let's go inside. Let's hit up Facebook, Auto Trader, Gumtree. And if we can't find a car, then we'll cancel this intro <laughs> and you won't be any the wiser. <laughs> right, let's go. Come on. Ethan, what are we going to go for? Well, I'm keen to hear your thoughts before I give you mine. Oh, I would say uh, Street KA, Jack. Uh, anything like one litre, like one, a micro. Yeah, yeah no. I, I agree. Yeah? You're both being silly. How about we go on Google and type in cheap cars, 150 miles an hour. Okay. Because there are a few websites that have done that. I think there's an article on Honest John. You're welcome for the shout out. Oh, thank that. you, Honest John. Then. I won't go on Gumtree. Oh, you're going to go on Gumtree. Yeah. I'll, I'll go Facebook Marketplace and... Ethan, you'll be on Auto Trader. A Volvo 850R. Yes, R. Good. A Fiat Coupe. For a grand. Yeah, no, that's yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, nah. Or a Jaguar XK8. That would be cool. Yep. TVR 350. Oh, TVRs, yeah. Thousand pound TVR is going to be mint. Prices of good examples starting from as little as five thousand pounds. Perfect. We can haggle that down. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be safe. This, hasn't it? You don't want to go 150 mile in something sketchy. This is quite tricky. Have we bitten off more than we can chew? Probably. There's a Lexus 400 Cat D 1400. It's a big old barge though, isn't it? Do you know what else would do 150? It would be a TT. Mm. Did you get it for a grand? Yeah, you can get a TT for a grand. What engine is that in the eighth? It's the... It's... Bam. Oh! We should also look at BMWs. I'm sorry to say BMW again. 3.30. Yeah, we should do. I got an idea. Oh. Let's get an MX-5. Am I right? 3 what I? 3.30? Uh, 3.29 I. I haven't got that option. 3.30 ISE? Would that do it? Yeah. That's, that's not a thousand pounds. 989, you're right. Isn't it's in Birmingham. That's... Oh no, I'm not going there. I've been an idiot. Price. I've put my max price up at a thousand pounds. We have Master Hagler, Mike, I mean, uh, Alex Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Ford Mondeo? 3 litre ST. One here, 1495. Can we get a third off that? A third off it. Can we? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Volvo 460 GL. Look at that. Wow. Will that do it? No, probably wouldn't even do 100. <laughs> I, just, I just like it. We just like to look. Have you learned nothing? Mercedes Benz CLK 3.2. Yeah. Ethan, you're on fire. What's happening? Anyway, I'm really bored um, with. Facebook marketplace, so I'm, I'm, I'm now not, an auto trader. This is not on. He's in I, my territory. Shut up. What I've done is I'm searching cars up to £1,500, and because I'm clever, acceleration, 0 to 60 miles an hour, 0 to 8 seconds. Also, auto trader, you can have a look at the specifications of each car. So I am here on the winning car, Volvo V70 2.4 T5 SE Geartronic. That's boring. It is boring. Set I just a yawned. Volvo? I yawned. Yeah. A Volvo boring? Yeah. How many people are screaming at us to buy a Volvo? Are you insane? Yeah, you winning a point. I mean, getting a Volvo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to 60, 7.2 seconds. Top speed, 152 miles an hour, plus five cylinder engine. Close your phones. I've done it. Octavia VRS? Uh, I think that's 140 something. 149. It's oh, like five. a really hot miles. 530i SE Touring. 150 exactly. Ooh. 1285. A grand cash. Is when that... we're there. Just doing that above. Is that the, what, the... the phrasing to use if I come with a thousand pound cash? Like. Yeah. Cash in your hand. I've just bought myself a Paka Moa. Sorry, sorry, Mike. <laughs> he loves it. Actually, insert Twitter post to prove Mike Brewer loves it. Geezer. You absolute lemon squeezer. Yeah, should we go through the short list? It's a very short list of <laughs> Volvo V70. Well, I've got some. Shut up. What, do you think I've been sat here doing nothing? I've Pretty much, yeah. I've got loads of them, mate. Right, so we have got your, what was it, CLK? Yeah. 
149 miles an hour that'll do. 1,500 pounds though. Delete. Yeah, we're not going to get a third off. Uh, that is all of your cars gone. No, the yeah. Octavia and the 5 Series. All right, don't get your knickers in a twist. Jack, are you in the game? Yeah, oh. I'm in the game. All right, okay, so what have we got? I forgot you were what here. We See it, Leon. 1, 8, 20 valve. That won't do 150, will okay. it? Okay. Well, down a hill it might. A uh, Honda Coupe V6. That definitely won't do 150. Okay, right, now my actual... <laughs> Good, let's start now. Uh, an IS200 that's been supercharged. Ooh, for a grand? No, it's 1,500 quid, but it's been up for ages. Will it do 150 miles an hour, though? Because it might just be bouncing off the limiter in fifth at 145. Yeah. It's all to do with the gearing, right? Mm. Ford Mondeo 3 litre V6. Yeah. 149 when it was brand new. Maybe it's loosened up a little bit now. <laughs> a GS300 Sport. Does that do it? That'll do it. You're sure? Set an number, it'll piss all over it. <laughs> 149. Well, then there you go. Power to weight ratio of 145 a ton. Yes. That's disgusting. That's nothing. Is that torque we're looking at? Is that that? <laughs> what? Do you know the funny thing is? He's not even making this up. <laughs> it's so refreshing now, isn't it? What, having an invalid? Thank you for letting me outside today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all agreed on the Volvo. Do you want to call your Volvo then? Yeah. I'll pick up the phone, man. Five. One, oh, eight. Sigh. Right, let's cancel the video. Shall I try the 5 Series? It's a dealer. He's not going to go from 1285 to 1000, uh, is he? Yeah. Just phone him up. Hi there. I'm calling about a 5 Series you have for sale. Yeah, okay. It's available. Okay, cool. And it drives okay, stops okay, goes in a straight line. Yes. Yeah, it does, yeah. I've got a really tight budget of £1,000. Um, yeah, I can't do nothing. Can't no. on it. Okay, yeah, not, not to worry. Thank okay. you anyway. Oh, I'm being phoned back. Hello? Sorry, are you selling a Volvo? It, it's sold today, unfortunately. Uh, some, some guy's interested in it, he said he wants it. Oh, that's a real shame. Congrats okay. on the sale. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah, bye, bye. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> are they all your options Ooh. depleted now? I'm out. Right, what we got, Jack? What you got? Well, now you're interested. <laughs> now you've run out of options. The GS300. 149, that'll do it, won't it? No, 150 is one above, not one below. No. It's close, though. I think it would do it. I'm basing this Fine. on no, 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 no. Uh, experience I mean, if you're, if or you're, knowledge. If you're confident, then on your head be it. If we don't do it, then we have to we have to cancel the channel. All our lovely subscribers, they, they have nothing to do on a Friday night. They could go out. Ah. They don't, they don't go out. <laughs> Friday night's is car throttle video release. Everyone knows that. Uh, do we try the Skoda? Yes. Oh, do we? No. It's Octavia VRS. I don't know. It won't do it. It does 149. Well, so, so I have cars that do 149, but they're they're dog shit. But if you get one, yeah, it's great, ring them up. Oh, all right, someone's getting yeah. sassy. Right, well, no one's paying any attention to my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try the Skoda, at least I'll, we'll know then. Hi, I, I'm calling about a Skoda Octavia you have for sale. Yeah, I'm just with someone at the moment. Can I give you a bell back on this number in yeah, a few minutes? Perfect, thank you. Oh, imagine being a buyer looking at the car now, and he's like, oh, I'm just with someone. As a buyer, oh, yeah. you'd be like, shut up. Whatever. <laughs> I would turn around to him now, and I'd say, off. you're a liar. <laughs> your car's a pile of shit. Why don't you try your supercharger one? Because you said it's been up for a while, didn't you? I've got better options than that. Oh. I still haven't heard any of these better options. The Mondeo, the 3 litre V6. Do you want to call any of these options then? Call Mr Mondeo. Hello. Yeah, hiya. Um, so you got a Mondeo for sale. Uh, what's it like? Is it drive all right? Did you read the description? I did. It drives very well, to be honest, but it's just like... It's only when you're stationary and you turn the wheel, there's like a little knock. With a steering issue like that, would you advise going 150 miles an hour in it? Oh yeah, I mean, I drove it on, I drove it on the motorway. And uh, it's perfectly fine. Okay, mate, look, I'll, um, I'll have a think about it and I'll, I might call you back. Okay. All right, cheers, thank you. He made you look like a right mug. Right, Ethan? What? I, I was just hoping that you had something. Oh, I stopped looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that why you've got your arms crossed? Well, I'm waiting, actually. I'm waiting for this Skoda guy to call me back. Should we get food? Let's get food. New place. Burger Bay. Let's Burger get food, Bay. yeah. It's fine. Um, Engine-wise, is fine. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely interested. I'm, 
annoyingly, I, I only have a budget of a thousand pounds, but I can come cash in hand today. If you come and you're happy with the car, we're not going to argue that you can have it for a thousand quid. Okay, probably. so that was the Octavia guy, the yeah, Octavia BRS guy. Very promising. <sighs> Should we get some food and hash us out? I think so. Right, so before we left to come to Burger Bay, I messaged a guy with this 2000 Volvo V70 T5 SE. It reckons in the book from you at 152 miles an hour. Uh, and it's got loads of bits on it as well. It's got 12 months MOT, stainless downpipe, stainless exhaust system um, with a 200 cell cat. So I think I should give him a quick call. Just make sure everything's in order. We'll eat here yeah. and then we'll shoot up the M40. And then I'll... It kind of makes sense to go for that if it's in the book as a quicker car. Yep. It's got yeah. bits on it. Yep. And it's 150 pound cheaper. Yeah, it's 850 quid. Also a Volvo. I like the idea of that. Yeah, it's got to happen. So yeah. let me call him up. Yes, is that Colin? Yeah, thank you. Are you okay with us coming up? Maybe, what time are we now? Half three, half four, half five, six-ish? Yeah, that's absolutely fine by me. I'm, I'm in all evening. Final question as well. Bit of a weird one. Do you reckon it will do 150 miles an hour in a straight line? Yeah, well, it goes it goes off the clock. It goes past 160. Perfect. Well, where you come in is right next to where your good friend Gareth. I saw you drive past. You you floored it, and then we didn't hear the dump valve, and then we had a discussion. We had a discussion about that. They don't do well with dump valves. So. So I've seen your car and I've seen you drive your car. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. I'm gonna have that. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sold. Okay. Cheers, Colin. Cheers, Alex. Thanks, mate. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. This game's too easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's another point. That is another point. I have landed with my ass in the butter. That car I saw last week driving past us. Did it look good? That is ridiculous. That's insane. This isn't set up. Gareth, we're coming for you later, by the way. Wow. All right. I'm excited now. Let's eat. Okay, let's eat. Okay. Let's eat. It's actually a really good car, yeah. For a one litre, it does does haul. It's been comfy, isn't it? It's been very comfy. What the, what the heat seats like? <sighs> I can't talk about heat seats. <laughs> no, genuinely, we're four up. All our camera gear is yeah. decent. Mm. Yeah. While I'm reversing, <laughs> you're a real piece of shit. You, you need to take a look at your alarm systems. <laughs> Right, so we've arrived now at Gareth's village. Your house is one point, no, 0 0.1 miles away and we've just arrived at the Volvo. I can see it from here, so should we go have a look? So uh, this is Colin, the owner of the Volvo. Hey, good evening. Um, when I switch you on the phone, you reckon it'll do more it, than... Yeah, it, it goes to over 160 indicated. Wow. How accurate the speedo is, I couldn't tell you. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, knock yourself out, have a look around. How many miles is it on? 55. We usually don't get out of bed for cars with fewer than 500,000. 
Yeah, I mean, it's 240 <coughs> something standard. Yeah. And all I've done is let it breathe. I haven't done a map on it, I haven't done anything else. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's pretty much stock everything bar the aftermarket intake. Yeah, so uh, intake, uh, obviously the turbo elbow, yeah. and then I've made an exhaust for it, so it's three inch downpipe okay. into a 200 cell cap and then two and a half all the way through. Oh, nice. Wicked. Oh, do you want me to check that? Uh, yeah, would you? Uh, oh, we're good. Yeah, yeah why yeah. are we good? There's Is no it? milky residue on there. Very good. Yeah, I mainly like the fact that it's got Michelins on all four corners. That yeah. was the other option for this, if it didn't sell, was to pick up it. Really? That was going to be the Well, you're talking to the experts here. <laughs> right, should we jump in? Go for a drive. Oh, oh god, that sounds so good already. 225,000 miles on the clock as well, that's great. Well, I'm glad he's put such nice tires on it. If you good do want to get to 150, 60, yeah. you don't want to be doing it on cheap tires, so it shouldn't be dirty. Oh! Sold! Yes, Colin, I like what you've done to your car. So, thoughts, guys, are we liking this? Is it going to like, go up? I like this car. Yeah, this is great. We started off the day shitting ourselves, thinking, oh God, we're not going to find anything. And here we are, 260 horsepower. I like it, I like it a lot. It feels light, feels fast, feels solid. Right, so we've just been for a drive. Colin, we hate the car. Uh, wasted time coming up here. Uh, yeah, no, genuinely, it's a great car and you've had it for five years, so you know you know all about it. So, trust you, and if it breaks, then we know where you live. I wouldn't be me if I didn't ask for just a little bit off. So I was wondering, would you take 800 quid? Uh, no, because it's got half a tank of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> and a fresh MOT. <laughs> Alright. Would you take eleven hundred quid? No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, right? You're not Mike Brewer. I was about to do the old out your end. Right, 850. 850 and it's your There you go. Nice one. Thank Thanks very much. So the next time you guys see this car, we're gonna be trying to do 150 miles an hour. You reckon it's good for more? I reckon I'll do it. So given enough space. Given enough space. We're gonna take it onto a runway or a drag strip and hopefully hit over 150 miles an hour. So join us there. Welcome back, it is now 136 days later. Covid happened, a lot has changed as well. You got engaged. I did get engaged, yeah. Jack had a birthday. Nothing's happened in my life except I've got fatter. <laughs> um, but you join us now at VMAX 200, we're at an army base and we are taking the 850 pound Volvo today to hopefully hit 150 miles an hour. So as you can see, we're in a lineup of cars very similar to our, no, very dissimilar to our own. We've got Porsches, Ferraris, BMW 1 Series that does 192 miles an hour. So we are very much not fitting in. But that is the car throttle way, right? Right, so as a reminder, we are in the 850 pound Volvo V70. We think around 260 brake horsepower. Oh, is she going? Is she going? Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. On your marks, get set. Go, 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 go! Come on, baby! Oh, yes! Oh. I wouldn't say it's the quickest no. one. No, come on. Right, this is foot flat to the floor now. 80 miles an hour. It looks so slow. It looks so time. slow. Is it even moving? Oh, well, we're approaching 100. Come yeah, on! We've got 100. Is it moving? Come on, Volvo! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're going to get 130. Come on, Volvo! Come on, Volvo! Right, this is so slow. 140. Now. Come, 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 come. One, one, two, two. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong one. Nearly. It was so close. Oh, oh, it was very close to 150 on the dials. Oh, that steering wheel's got a lot of wiggle in it. Good, 140. 67. I want to see how out that speedo is compared to the footage. I think that run was probably 145. Hey, Heath, tell us the good news. We think you got 140.67. Oh. oh. We we thought we almost got 150. Well, that's what the speedo was telling us. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't trust that speedo. Yeah, you need to go faster. Ah, 
You weren't giving it 100 percent were you? Probably about 97. Ah, we'll shed some emergency weight. You are emergency weight. Speaking of shedding emergency weight, a car that doesn't need to go on a diet is the awesome BMW 2002 Turbo that I told you guys about earlier. Featuring 170 horsepower and 177 pounds foot of torque, BMW's first production turbo model still feels fast today. And remember that you guys can be in with a chance of winning one of these icons plus $20,000 by entering at the link below. What we're going to do is a uh, drastic action, duct tape. Close all these panel gaps, yes. bare wheel. Yeah, spare wheel. I mean, wheel. I wanted to run it as standard, but it's not going to happen. So uh, we've got to get clever, we've got to get wise. I've got to be more aggressive on the gearbox. And all the while, hope that this car's going to get me back home later. I think it'll be fine. And then if push comes to shove, just kick me out. Yeah, we might have to do that as it's well. The whole 85 kilos gone there. Yeah, and I'll go for a poo. Anyway, let's try <laughs> stage two tune of our 850 pound Volvo. Right, so the, uh, the guys from Wrench Studios have just come and they've said that they're going to give us a free tune, which is very nice of them. So they've given me racing stripes. And as everyone knows, yellow racing stripes on any car makes any car faster. Oh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. You nervous? I'm not as nervous as I would be if it was in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to perform now. Well, we've shed some weight. We've improved the aero. We've, by done, we've done something with the aero. Aggressive. Oh, that was a limiter. Come on! Come on, baby! Go, 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 go. You got more, you got more. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! What? 144. 144. Okay, 151 on that. Yeah. That's better than last time, we can't argue with that. It's back to the drawing board. Come on. Alright, tell us the result. 151. One. Four. Four. Oh. Four. Oh. oh, better. So we got four Still miles bad. an hour. Four yeah. miles an hour. That's good. It's pretty good. So I what think we're going to have to do now is stage three tune, which means taking weight out, which includes you. Am I going with the seats? You're going to have to go with the seats. And we might have to do some more taping. I think we've gutted about 60 kilos out of the car, including myself, which is maybe around about 150 kilos we're losing in total. Yeah, so 150 kilos for 150 miles an hour. Out at your end! Also, the tyre pressures have gone up from 35 to 45. So fingers crossed, this is it. This is the run. Let's go see. Here we go. go on. Oh, yes. That's better. Come on, Volvo! Come on, baby. Right, not going to get out of fourth unless I hit the limiter. Six and a half thousand RPM. That's where I can change. Look, look, at, last the brave, look at the brave box. Come, 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 come! Come on, come on. Oh! Oh, oh mate. Oh. oh, I don't think there's much more to be had out of that. Good job, Volvo. Good job. I just think for this distance in this car, 150 miles an hour is not achievable. I honestly thought that going in a straight line would be boring, but when you feel acceleration, and I'm talking Volvo acceleration here, remember, it's still fun in a car like this. If you're in a Macca like that, imagine. Top lad. What was happening? You might have to do one more run. All right. One four seven. One four seven. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> right. This 
is the one. Ah, oh, okay, this one. Okay. There are so many people here that are depending on you to get to one field. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going home. Oh, yeah. we up. Yeah. He's starting well back on it. Has he started back? Oh, yeah, he does. He's starting further back. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, keep going. Keep going, I'm not gonna change. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh, I don't know. And I just want to reiterate, if the track were longer, this is a 150 mile an hour plus car. I think given the space, it will do 155. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring this video and giving you guys the chance to win a BMW 2002 Turbo. Remember, go to omaze.com forward slash BMW and enter now. Every donation supports the Peterson Automotive Museum. <laughs> Right, so I've just done my fifth and final run in the mighty Volvo. I don't actually know how fast I crossed the line, so is someone gonna put me out of my misery? Yeah, well, I mean, the top speed of the day amongst all these supercars is around 237. So we're probably gonna be about 100 miles an hour slower. Or are we? Ooh. Well, Ooh. you did it. Yeah. That last run. Yeah. In 146. Ah. Yeah. yeah. So your best of the day was 147. So I guess the takeaway is, you can buy a car for a thousand pounds that will do 150 miles an hour if you have a runway long enough. But today, on this occasion, we just ran out of space. I just want to say a massive thank you to, uh, to the guys at VMAX 200, to Craig for, uh, for sorting us out and all of these lovely cars. Everyone's been super friendly. And you know what? I'm going to say that, I'm going to say it. The car of the day has been the mighty Volvo. It's had the most looks, the most love, and everyone loves an underdog, right? Well, people can't believe it's here, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There was a good proportion of the time that we felt really out of place. Yeah. But very welcomed. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. You can watch more Car Throttle episodes by clicking that link down there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel somewhere up there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh.